Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about tunings, the easiest chord in the world to play. It's really easy. Uh, today, I want to talk about open D tuning. I've been playing an open D for about 15 years, and I've tried to be in it exclusively, and I've, I've learned a lot by being in the tuning. I started out in a real simple way of playing uh, and it's gradually gotten better with the guys out there that I will mention later in this video it's really helped and it's really fun uh, as a writer if you're trying to play in a cover band learning open tuning could be a very big nightmare but if you're a writer a creator and trying to create different sounds to get inspiration for writing songs open D is a great is just a great way to start uh, Joni Mitchell used many, many different tunings. There's lots of different tunings out there. Open D made sense for me. And so we're going to talk about that today. <laughs> but I started playing an open D tuning probably 15 years ago. And it's helped me understand music a little bit more, the, di the diatonic theory. I like these videos. Please hit the subscribe button, and if you want to get notifications, tag the bell, and it'll let you know when I put these videos up. They usually come out on Wednesdays uh, when I can get around to get them done. I'm learning and getting better at this, but uh, we're going to talk about open D tuning today, which is D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. There's lots of guys that play in open tunings and, that we know of and have been for a really long time. People that are current playing in open tunings that guitar players follow are Joey Landreth, who plays in open C, Aria Posen, who plays in C, which is the exact same intervals as D. It's just down another step. Uh, Sonny Landreth, big slide player from Louisiana, plays in E. Of course, Derek Truck plays in E. Uh, there's lots and lots of people out there playing these tunings. Usually it's relegated to folk tuning. They call it folk tunings uh, because it's done on the acoustic guitar. But, but guys like the aforementioned people have really taken it to the next level. Ry Cooter is probably, I mean, there's so many and I'm, I'm sure I missed a bunch. But I want to show you how I got started in Open D. And it, and it happened and I've told the story in past videos in front of a live audience uh, while I was on a college tour and I was forced to learn it really fast. And so that helped me a lot because I didn't overthink it. And so everything I played in the intro to this was played with two fingers. And it's what I love about this tuning. If you're just learning guitar, this is a great way to, to sh express yourself in a different way, not playing uh, the same chord voicings that everybody else is playing. So here we go. You know, we got D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. What I did is we, we, we basically, even in regular guitar, we base everything off of these two strings. And it doesn't change here uh, when you're starting out. These are, these are your kind of your roots, your fifth, your fifth root. Or in your sixth root. In D, the diatonic theory, if you write all this down, you got D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back to one. The, the two and the three are minor chords. The four and the five are major chords. The six is a minor chord. The seventh is a diminished chord, but we, we generally treat it as a minor chord, but it's a diminished chord, then back to the one again. So two fingers, this is how I'm gonna do this. So I've got D, then E minor, I go here. Then I go here, you can see that I'm on the third string, first fret, low string, second fret, 
there's E. Then the F sharp, my, that's E minor. Then F sharp minor, you just move that position up two frets. So now you're on four and three and three. And then you go to the major chord. So it's five, five on the third string. Move it up two strings. Same thing, five, five. Then move it up two strings. Then move it up two strings. And then you're back to the root again. Or the home, the tone. And that's it. Everything I played, everything I played in that intro was that, plus maybe a hammer on here or there. But it's and it's it's really different sounding, but very, very simple. And what I love about this tuning, and I've taken lessons from Joey Landreth, and he is, you know, I take the lesson and I go back and try to recount everything, and I, I capture about a, a tenth of the content that he's given me because it's very it's very cool but what I love about this tuning is it helped me with the theory of major minor right so major chords are here in a piano when you're playing a major chord you know if you're going to go to a minor chord you just move the the third you know down one and then this tuning is the same thing so if I'm in E which I can I can cover everything here we're just gonna work on these two because the the strings are this is the the one the five the one the three the five and the one so that it just it repeats itself so you have lots of options to to grab the same note so I can do the same thing here Really cool. You can do the same thing here. It's all the same. And this is why you see Joey and Ariel and these guys use a capo because they can capo up and, and pretty much say, play the same patterns. And that's a great starting point. Find a song you like, find a capo. And then start noodling with it. Just start trying to find those, you know, those notes like the one, two, three, four, five, one. And, you, and it's what's cool is it's easy to see where the number's at because you're just counting up, right? So we got the the one chord. You want to go to the sixth chord. It's going to be the B. It's right there. Because it's sixth up. So that's my introductory lesson on Open D. I hope that uh, you can grasp something from this. And uh, maybe I'll do some more tutorials in the future. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can get notifications when these videos come out. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that uh, your day is good and let's stay safe out there.